What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we had quite an interesting option um, here. Well, not really an option. We have to fight it because if you auto resolve it, then the garrison at Dresden is damaged. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got my good forces up front. I'm going to want my infantry up front to form a strong defensive line, maybe bring in some guns, weaker infantry. That seems more like it, except actually keep my, get my grenadiers up front first, because we will be getting the core of these units, actually. 20 units on the field at once, and we've got five here, so we will get the first 15 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's get a cavalry unit at the back end. Cool. So the objective of these forces is probably going to be to... Uh, well, it depends, actually, because it looks like... Hmm, we could maybe run off to the left to try and support our force here, but... The, yeah. Let's not spend too much time over-analyzing it. Let's just get in and fight. Because the, you can never really trust where the... Uh, where the reinforcements are going to be coming in from, but generally, as a rule of thumb, if you're going to be relying on your reinforcing army to do any good work, you probably want your infantry corps to come up first to form a defensive line to wit to which you can then support with artillery. Right, but let's see how we are looking. If we've got an open field, ugh. not a hmm. potential. So, it looks like, best case, they come in from here. Potentially could meet up, but I quite like the idea of holding out in the town while the army comes in to help us. So we're going to put a militia unit inside the town hall. Our two infantry units are probably going to deploy either side of the town hall to fire volleys into here and here. The militia unit is probably going to deploy just here at the back, holding a choke point. Then another militia unit is going to deploy into this... No, actually that's a bad idea. You'll be firing out of these windows into my enemy... into my own formations. Maybe deploy here to cover this gap. Something like that, I think, and then we can bring in the reinforcements. <laughs> okay, so where I thought our guys would come in from, actually they're coming in from, and our guys are coming in from right at the back, which is super annoying, because it won't give our... It will take even longer for our guys to get into position. But yeah, the job is going to be to hold out for as long as possible in the town. Bearing in mind, these are garrison troops. Especially as this actually prevents cavalry charges, to a degree, this feature here. Just hold out. Hold out in the centre and allow my reinforcing army to enter the field in strength. Actually, you guys might as well just head straight off towards where the enemy's reinforcements are coming in from. Let's not make them run. Not a lot. That unit coming around the flank is a bit dodgy. The enemy has no guns to dig us out. It looks like we've got some marines charging up, which will probably attempt to charge the town hall, by which, within which our 19th Regiment of Foot will have quite a good field of fire. Actually, they can start firing imminently. Okay, so we've got another line infantry unit coming in. Okay, you guys might actually have to advance to chase off this. Actually, is someone else already in? Okay, it's showing me the 21st Regiment. Okay, there we go. So we've, we're opening up. Chased away the 1st Regiment of Horse. Retreat my militia.
Okay, you guys actually might advance up to about here to fire onto the militia, to the marines. My militia should be returning fire out of the windows. We have enemy cavalry advancing towards us here, so let's make sure we're in a good position. So let's run these guys. If we need to dump them into square, we will. Go on, you men. Volley fire. No damage. Oh, it's because they're actually in a defilade. Very well, in which case then pull back. Okay, I just witnessed... Okay, you guys... Okay, you guys are going to see them off. I'm going to get my militia to pull back to my infantry square. Fire at will off, guard mode on. Just make them run through the square. That militia unit could well rout in the end. Make sure you guys are deployed up correctly. There goes an enemy cavalry unit. Okay, let's put a Grenadier unit on the right flank. 20th Regiment, advance. Just try my pull my militia back to my in infantry squares. It looks like they are going to get us though. Run! You men form up. Yeah, not too many of my- oh my god, there's a lot of- that's a lot of fellas. Charge my marines in. The cavalry, more grenadiers. Okay. I might just let the town do what they're going to do and focus on the battle out on the open field here. Kill the enemy general though. I fear the town will not hold. The militia are down. Keep my infantry in squares to do as much damage as possible to their cavalry. Got to bear in mind the troops inside the town are free. Keep my cavalry wide. Ooh, guns! Keep the front advancing, get you guys to deploy square in case the regiment of horse... Well, they are still gonna... gonna try their luck somewhere. It looks like they're... Yeah, there is a battle going on in the uh, in the town hall. Do not think my militia are going to hold off against two units of marines and a unit of militia. Get my infantry to attack that unit there. You men charge the the uh, Polish warband there. Excellent. You men advance. Get my guns up on the high ground. Get a unit of militia over here. So you guys have charged the warband. My garrison is falling. They've taken the town. But we've done some good losses to them. But at least now it means we can focus on... Oh god, my general ran all the way forward. Okay, my cavalry routed them. They're out the irregulars. That can be the problem with those automatic marching orders. Charge the Irregulars. Away from the Regiment of Horse, you goons. There's a unit of militia. Form up. Okay, good. Now, now my Val Dragoons hit the Regiment of Horse, get my General's Bodyguard back to the front line. Advance forward, you men. Got my 
weaker unit of line infantry. You mentioned I gotta get my general to charge the Polish regiment there. Yeah, you guys are okay. They go advanced within range of the irregulars. Might lose my general to the 21st regiment's attack. Get my Prushenk horse down here rapidly. Get my militia in to help fight the general. My Vile Dragoons right here are slugging it out against a Lancer unit. Ah, uh, my general's fallen. So it shall be. Get my line infantry down here. Waiting to see if any Polish units spawn again. General's bodyguard. Get my general's bodyguard out of that combat. Let my militia carry on, but get my general's bodyguard to go after the, their warband. Get my cavalry to counter charge. The troops that they had in the town are starting to leave the town. And limber the guns. And my Val Dragoons were behind enemy lines for a long time. You men charge the lancers, you men charge the lancers. Pushneck horse is trying to intercept their cavalry. My general's bodyguard staff are chasing down the warband. Very well. Let's take my line. Advance it towards the core of the enemy's forces. Pull my cavalry back from fighting the militia. Get these men to form line. Get you men to form line as well. Get my cavalry out wide. Too bad my mercenary cavalry have routed, but then again, yeah, I did wonder if they would if they were sending more troops in. Let's get some more militia over here. It's part of the reason why I left my grenadiers there specifically. Run my militia into the square. All my cavalry came back. Attack the general's bodyguard. My dragoon should mop up the enemy regiments of horse. My gunners engage the marines in the distance. Line infantry. We've got more troops coming up as well. Go on my lancers, or their lancers. Charge the cavalry. Okay, that's their general's bodyguard knocked out. My general chased down the warband. Got another militia unit, push them down wide. Okay, so my grenadiers push up and push up and shoot them. You men push up and shoot you men. Push up and shoot. Get the guns wide. Keep my cavalry mobile. Get my guns. We'll get this fresh battery to position to support the left flank. Get my gunners. General's bodyguards back there. Let's not go for the militia you guys go for the irregulars my vile dragoons go for the general's bodyguard they're a bit exposed so this has the potential to go a bit badly because that's a lot of line infantry but we are caused one of their regiments to rout or to waver off the bat let's get my my general's dead isn't he Intercepting the general's bodyguard. Run my cavalry away from the marines. Those gunners unlimber. 
Ooh, especially if they just start pumping line infantry into this position. You man, unlimber. First of all, let's expand my support there. Get you guys to form up. Might have to get a form up a line to retreat my other wing. You guys keep running. You guys bombard the enemy. Retreat our line, because it looks like we're getting strung out a bit on the battlefield. Commit my cavalry into the action. I don't think I quite appreciated just how many men they have in reserve here. Pivot the guns. Keep my militia wide. My cavalry's been pushed off the field, largely. I mean, you're still fighting the militia. Get my grenadiers out of there. Let's allow my. Well, try and use my. <laughs> gonna try and use my cavalry to buy time. Withdraw. Cavalry unit that's going to charge into my militia swords raised. So, to be honest, they're all militia units. So they're going to get hit. Unlimber canister shot. Where's my Val dragoons? Get my dragoons out of there. Use my militia as a meat shield. You guys counter charge the provincial cavalry. Get my other militia unit in there to try and do something about it. Keep my guns on the hill, engaging their marines. Here, recall my cavalry. Get these guns to engage the enemy militia. You guys maybe pivot to cover that corner better. Collectively, I'm using my militia to hold back the enemy hordes. relying on my infantry to break these Polish hordes on the flank. Good. Advance my militia to surround and push the guards out. Looks like their bloodlust horde is still on the move. Oh god, you just blew the heads off of my own guys. Ceasefire. Round shot support the flank. Too late. Keep my cavalry ready. So I'm counting on my militia to rout the marines, and then I can begin to push my troops around the flank. Some militia, irregulars. To be honest, you, these guns can cease fire. Ah, so the Poles are starting to horde. Charge my cavalry in to push them out. Okay, so that is the enemy marines defeated push up my left flank into the enemy my dragoons are wavering which isn't great my grenadiers are wavering which isn't great so they're going to counter charge those marines because they don't really have a choice to be honest I can't withdraw my army my Lanvin militia engage the marines you should be able to to provide more firepower, but I think this might actually be a loss, because I'm not going to be able to do as much damage as I would like. You guys can attack the 
gorillas, which would be nice. Let's get this cavalry all the way back in here. Yeah, the Polish aren't going to be able to do... My, my Too much of my forces militia and my infantry as it is couldn't really do the damage it needed to do anyway. You men charge the marines. See if you can break them. If you can break them, you can... You're probably not going to break them, but at least we can try and... push up my militia flank. Attack ground. Uh, I hope... I wish you guys can get out of... You can, actually. Man your guns. Oh no, they routed my general's bodyguard. Blast the enemy. To be honest, yeah, these... I fear... The end is here for this army. So you men push up, try smack some of those infantry troops in the rear, but to be honest, there's too many scattered fragments of units around to do too much damage. At the very least, we can try and shatter them enough that they don't... they aren't able to pursue the attack. Still got a unit of marines back there in good shape. I think most of our guns have ceased fired now. Charge the poles. I think part of it was getting too close to this action over here. Misunder... Well, I misremembered the size of their reinforcements. So my men are trying to hold off. So I can't actually manually retreat my guys anyway. But at the very least, they're not attacking this army, they will have some time to reconstitute their forces just means that some of my other units are going to have to do some work on the campaign map God, that's a real awkward position to come in from, because coming in from this edge, it means they have to cover more land before they are in position curse you Poland, curse you yeah, just charge my gunners nuts Gag. You will suffer for this, Poland. You will suffer mightily. Still, the way to look at this, I think, is <laughs> yeah, valiant defeat. Uh, at the very least, it means I can combine some of my militia units together, and I mean, that's not a bad core of units left. And they've only got well, they've not got many troops left either. Ooh, okay, okay, we've got to get aggressive. Oof. Actually, we've got, uh, we've got to hold off get hold off uh, Dresden against the same army, but they're significantly depleted, so this might be a bit of a blunder for them, potentially. Let's do it. But we are going to need to dump a lot of troops. But we are going to need to do a lot of replenishment in the east. Maybe even send the army of Paris east. <laughs> well, cease construction of the school to maintain public order. Send that army east slowly rebuild a Paris garrison. I think that's going to be the way to do it. So, okay, let's... Actually, we get defences, which isn't bad. But let's combine my weak units of militia together to make sure... Well, actually, what I might do is get my infantry, such as it is, deployed. Get a gun team deployed. Deploy these two infantry units together. Behind defences. My garrison line can't deploy defences, which is unfortunate. Let's get this gun team deployed. Then let's take... 
these oh no you've okay so you guys have deployed militia militia line infantry place stakes two strong units of militia hold behind the stakes got a unit of Prashenk horse which can hold the flank Grenadiers deploy stakes a bit more acutely on the flank. Seems that's probably a good thing, to, good place to position them anyway. Probably does mean. Well, my wild dragoons. Actually, I might group these two cavalry units together and have them operate as one unit. We've got our mortars who are going to be up front because they do more damage than... Um, good. So if I deploy them there, they're within range of my infantry. Okay. Keep my infantry close and deployed onto the flank. Use my mortars to fire round shot. Lots of the enemy troop, lots of the, tr the enemy are actually quite. They're quite badly defeated, so they will experience some challenges when they try and attack us. I mean, granted, my army is not necessarily much better, but it is better. So you guys fire round shot so you can keep engaging. Get my gunners to engage their. Their cavalry is probably the best bet, to be honest. None of their armies are actually in a great position. I may redeploy this garrison militia unit, redeploy them to the left. And I might get. Uh, no. Okay, let's, let's push my cavalry out on the left flank this militia out here. I think this cavalry unit is just going to get shot to bits from musket fire. So they're suicide running them against probably my guns, but they've not got much strength. Okay, so the 16th regiment are opening fire against the lancers. Again, they're going to hit my... Um, they're going to hit my mortars, which we've proved a few times aren't actually that useful to us. Maybe focus fire the cavalry with my guns, because considering they're very nicely at such short range. Actually, I think the smart decision would have been to deploy mortars behind a set of stakes. That's one to remember for the future. So let's attack the enemy column that's heading our way. See, they do have a reinforcing column. This is the garrison of Dresden coming in now. But we are going to hold the 16th Regiment of Foot Garrison Provincial Line are going to be instrumental. You guys attack that Regiment of Horse. General's Bodyguard's coming in, so he is going to be made a key target for our musketeers. Hopefully we can knock out... Actually, it looks like they might be suiciding, so let's make sure we do get our guns to attack the General's bodyguard if we have muskets ready. The General has fallen. They are wavering. And they are routed, so let's make sure our guns re-target the enemy centre. Got a unit of irregulars on the flank. So we are going to want to surprise advance our forces on the left. Switch to canister shot. You men switch to canister shot. Also support attacking the irregulars. You men attack the 11th regiment who are advancing up. Get my cavalry here to chase down that warband on the hill. These Dragoons out wide, I'm hoping, even though these men can't necessarily put out a lot of fire, they can put out enough to upset 
unit of grenadier not grenadiers um uh, irregulars get my militia into the front line irregulars militia we're going to hit back the warband and then we're going to pull the cavalry back So, 5th Regiment, engage the enemy, you men engage the marines, because they're quite still in good shape. Get my cavalry to push up the flank. I might get both my guns to focus on the marines, because they're quite dangerous. Push my cavalry into the building so I can try and roll in my left flank to focus more on the troops in the centre. So you men hit that regiment, you guys just pivot right immediately and begin attacking the enemy. The marines are wavering, which is good news. The 3rd regiment of dragoons hit the 2nd regiment of foot. If we can defeat them here, I might actually try and see if we can get a peace with Poland, because we'll both be knackers and I'll have only have lost Prague. Focus on the 11th now again because we've got more muskets attacking the enemy flank. You men will be enough to knock out the second regiment. Okay, it's frustrating we've got freaky sound issues. You men attack the militia think you might be trying to attack the second regiment which I do not want you to do but I will kill them with my cavalry to make sure they do not retain their killing power there's only three of them left two one of them might be stuck inside the house maybe no take out the second regiment for good advance this militia unit up to fire onto the centre, get my 5th regiment to attack the 6th, the 4th regiment keep attacking the marines, pull my cavalry back. Again, I can't really do much about the sound because it just seems to be a... Oh, have I turned the sound off? Okay, good. the marines are going down the militia can begin hey it's back drive my cavalry forward because fundamentally we need to do stuff with it but the militia are upset you men charge the 30th my general's bodyguard needs to commit and get involved as well to be honest I gave I written, wrote you guys off for dead not or already wrote you guys off for dead. You man charge into the militia. If we can route both of these units, that would be perfect. Get all my artillery to fire round shot at the militia. You men chase down the marines. You men keep chasing down the 30th. What we can do is redeploy my line. The enemy have got a strong irregular force here. The human advance to knock out the 18th regiment. The enemy reinforcements coming along in dribs and drabs. Charge my cavalry forward into the irregulars. I think Poland may have... Oh no, sorry. Keep attacking. They might have tried a bit much. So you men charge forward. Chase down the marines. You men... Chase down the line infantry. Don't chase down the militia because they're already running towards my troops. So they're going to get... 
shot down. Get my guns to cease fire. Surround the militia and destroy them. You guys have one more marine to destroy. Okay, you guys can't go after those troops because they're running back towards the enemy. Go for the irregulars. You men go for those irregulars because there's not many left. Because yeah, some of this line of infantry is running back towards the enemy reinforcements, so we don't want to run our cavalry into them. Two more militiamen left. You men both attack this unit of militia. You men cease fire because these irregulars don't have very many troops left. Good. Let's withdraw that cavalry there. Yeah, killing the line infantry is better. Irregulars are... Well, there's only two irregulars, though. There they go. Chase down the line infantry. So let's get one artillery unit to fire on one unit of marines. The 5th regiment focus on the 11th regiment of foot. You guys cease fire. No, not the militia. The line infantry. We have a chance to dent the enemy force almost irreversibly. They'll have lost so many units, they can't actually... Um, they, well, they, well, I suppose there's an argument there. Does it take me longer? It's definitely cheaper for me to rebuild my forces than them to rebuild theirs. One last militiaman there. Get out of dodge. Get my general's bodyguard to chase down those militia, because they're... They are on the market, as it were. Get my... Militia on the flank to be ready to keep attacking. Actually, no, keep my other cavalry nearby because these guys are marines that are very valuable to knock out. I want to keep my cavalry, my general nearby as well. But they're advancing to the front. Get my Val Dragoons to charge their militia. We're going to take some musket fire from one of their marine units. If they elect to focus on chasing down my cavalry, we will retreat behind our lines. But it looks like they don't want to. So you men keep attacking the 13th regiment. You guys switch the canister shot, engage the 11th. You men keep attacking the 12th. They've given up on their original plans. You can keep engaging the 13th. Soon it's going to be stand-up guards and atom for the 11th regiment. Come on. There we go. Keep attacking those militia. Stand-up guards and at him indeed. Or still they're my provincial militia, they're out of ammo. Huh. Fourth regiment, engage the eleventh, just to make sure they die. Keep killing the militia, because it looks like they're not going to run. So we're going to keep killing the militia until these troops here decide to rout. It looks like, to be honest, they're much more interested in chasing around my cavalry than doing actual attacking stuff. But the plan is, kill this militia unit. I mean, hopefully, Poland's taken it, but hopefully they, there is a rebellion. Another vo blast of canister shot should be about to find their way towards the 11th. Okay, that's both their marine units committed. I might just bite the bullet. You men advance. Halt fire here. Push up my troops. 
because our cavalry aren't going to get the free reign I would like them to get. Especially as you guys have to quickly redeploy to the other flank because we're already quite cavalry heavy over here. Lots of my other troops are actually quite good in the doing quite well in the ammunition department. You guys switch to round shot and attack the 12th. You men advance. I mean, we're at a point where I can definitely try and wipe out the rest of their army. You guys are useless. Well, not useless, just not as useful as some of the other units. So get these dragoons to chase down the 11th off the bat. This cavalry can probably smash the 16th immediately because they're already shaken. So let's just redeploy my infantry now. Get my general's bodyguard in. Make a U men take out the infantry there. Yeah, Poland, you uh, you tried too much. You got greedy. So all of you, halt fire. And we are going to chase you down. Shouldn't take very long. But yeah, the enemy have lost quite a significant number of troops in this engagement. You tried too much, methinks, Poland. Because we should. Well, they've still got plenty of firepower because they've still got more troops in the area than I do. But the destruction of two armies is quite useful, especially is if they start to see morale problems. Yeah, my force near Vienna needs to strike east. We can't afford to have them sat around for too much longer. Especially as it looks like the Ottomans are... Ooh, they're falling back to regroup. Not bad, especially if they're going to go south. Maybe they're at war with Venice. But yeah, there's an army up near Berlin, which is very threatening. It's tempting to try and see if we can make temporary peace with Poland, because they've got... They've taken Prague... And they've suffered a uh, punch in the beak, so they might be open to a negotiated peace. They've taken some land, but we've got 19 grand! Oh, I don't want to make peace with Poland, but I'm going to try it. Nope. They're not interested in it. Okay, so you men replenish. I'm, uh, so, and then we are going to want to take my garrison here out of France, hightail it to the west, let's recruit some troops to garrison the capital. You men are going to go towards Prague because the, pra the city is vulnerable. What we're going to do is recruit some more troops in Munich. Because we need them. You... I doubt they're going to hold... They're not going to attack Berlin. But we may as well leave the militia unit in there. So you guys advance towards Pra. Actually... You guys that are currently replenishing... Put Prague under siege... Mr. Tobelman can go north, ready to counter that attack wherever it lands. And we don't actually need you here, but we're going to deploy you over here anyway. So, let's drop down a couple of economic upgrades. Don't. Okay, let's get you down to Sarajevo. Saxony's developed and built a new town, which we're not going to build. So the question is, do they go for Dresden or do they go for Berlin? Hopefully they go for Dresden. But they're probably going to go for Berlin. Which might be a bit of a bummer. But there we are. We're getting roads. Let's try and go for the 2,000 gold 
uh, industry building upgrades first. Because realistically, we don't... I mean, yeah, immediately cancel building the school, because we don't want Paris to have problems. We're going to rebuild the naval, naval board. You're building a smith, so we want to keep it keep it free. We will want it to be a school at some point. Yeah, you're 4,000. So, I think I might want to start dropping in some metal roads to promote better transport through my through my uh, kingdom well also and also recruit more troops so dresden drop in some infantry you guys cancel recruiting all of that focus on focus on recruitment in dresden and in munich can't really afford too many gaps. You men recruit some recruit some cavalry to help out. Plus they can more ably redeploy. Upgrade the governor's residence in Stuttgart, but then keep 1800 in reserve. In terms of tech, we're quite good. Wait, wait a turn until the um, next military building is built in Munich. But yeah, I think Mr. Farber, your force is a better place to replenish and hold Prague. Because if they sally, we can take it back. And right now we've left a bit of an enticing target for Mr. Gzamoki. In which case then you guys... Well, you're, gonna, you're heading the right direction. If they strike east, at least we'll start to get some, some of a garrison. Are the Ottomans at war with Venice? They are. So if they take Venice, that's a bit of a problem. Venice... So, let's give you plug bayonet and cast a shot. And demand. Give you a grand. Okay, I'm actually content to pump them up with a lot of lower level military techs. To keep them alive. And I'm, ho I'm happy to give them. To give it to them bargain basement. Ah. Oh. Tech. Square formation grenades. Square formation and the ring bayonet are the ones that they really want. I don't want to offer payment, I want to demand. Okay, in which case then I'm going to give you square and ring bayonets for free. Because I want them to hold. I fear their armies are currently held together by nothing. Because if they do, then that provides another threat axis at Munich from the south. But I am reluctant to spend too much more of my money for now. But then again, it's a case of if I don't spend it now, I might lose it. But there's no point recruiting too far from the east, even though we do now get... Oh, marines are tempting, though. They take two turns to build. Let's recruit two units of marines. I said I wasn't going to spend it, and I immediately spent it. Let's try and not lock away too much of our money in turn twos of recruitment. Just recruit from across the kingdom. The more west we go, the more cavalry we go to go east. 1600 left. That's cadenced marching we've got. So we've gone to Carcassot, which isn't bad. But I might actually get you on to something like joint stock companies. Recruiters un increases unhappiness, but again... Those lovely, lovely wealth increases. 18,000 next turn. Hello, Sigmund Goodman. Control of works. Plus one management. Reduces the cost of upgrading my industry. Minus two for treasury, which is a particular bummer. But plus one army, plus one navy. So this guy is... So you, the guy we've got right now reduces my infantry cost, which is quite powerful. And he's a camp follower so he boosts army administration anyway he's good but i think you need to wait until someone dies otherwise i don't think anyone's necessarily stand out one two three four five six so i'm pretty sure you are probably going to be yeah so stand yes yeah, your six stars well six stars basic 
you might actually be good as my head of government because of that reduction in industry building cost. He stole six stars. Okay. Apart from that, we're good. Let's try trade and I'll offer you wedge formation. No. <laughs> okay, technology, uh, trade. Offer you wedge formation and... My Tartarianism isn't so bad. They don't have a school in their territory anyway. They still boost them up the tech ladder, but I think... Nope. They don't want trade, they want money. Okay, Let's see if we can just peace out with the Mughals. They want Flanders. No. Don't want to peace with the Ottomans, don't want to peace out with any of them. I'd like to peace out with Denmark. <laughs> They're super quick there. I'm not even at war with... I'm not, I don't even own any of the territory they want. Okay, so you're probably going to go for Berlin, which if you do, then Mr. Tobelman will be able to take it back in one turn. You guys are going to hold and be reinforced by all of the tr well, the troops that are going to be recruited in Dresden. I'm assuming the AI is smart and we'll go for Berlin because it's the wealthier town. So we will lose a three grand income there. Plus a load of our trade, actually. To be honest, we're going to lose anyway. If they go for it, we have no major forces nearby to take it back. But we do have forces nearby to swiftly rebuff a Polish attack. Yep, that was going to happen. So just auto it to see how much damage we can do. But that's it. So Mr. Tobelman can storm north and hit Berlin. The Ottomans are coming back. They sense weakness. Yes, they do sense weakness. Damn right they do. Okay, all of my troops I've recruited are probably going to strike, well, head to Munich. Apart from that, not a huge amount that can be done. I hope Venice can still provide a bit of a threat against the Ottomans. But I want, I need Mr. Tobelman to hit Berlin. We're not going to have, we still have a bunch of cash actually. I don't want Prussia to come back. That's the danger there. So, you men get over to Munich. Cavalry get over to Munich. Cavalry get over to Munich. Mr. Tauber get over to Munich. Paris, you can. Your men can. You guys can stay where you are. Considering you've got uh, actual defenses, you can probably get a militia brigade to provide defense there. These two units of line infantry can reinforce Balthazar Farber. You men can strike north and siege Berlin. We will fight it. I just want to get my other admin -y stuff done. So you men can attack Balthazar Farber. Or support Balthazar Farber. So that means you guys are full. Let's combine my militia units because we don't really want too many more of them. But Dresden itself, again, we can't recruit too many more interesting units here at Dresden, but we can recruit uh, mercenaries. Okay, so you guys are still going to be keep. You're gonna, you guys are going to keep replenishing. You can upgrade the iron workshops here because they're cheap. Well, they're too much. They've all got a discount now. But I particularly want to upgrade all my. Industrial buildings at least to tier 2. Got another rake who is going to infiltrate Gdansk to see what lies beyond the border. Our ship is going to flee to Lübeck. Hanover. What unit is that? Line infantry. Hanover. I don't really want militia, but recruit a dragoon unit. To be honest, you could probably upgrade one more level because that at least gets you line infantry recruitment, a bit of resilience in depth. We're not going to lose 
Dresden, so we can stand to upgrade you. Let's drop a couple of cheap farming upgrades. Then we're going to take Mr. Tobelman, and we're going to attack Berlin, and we are going to fight it in this episode, because I want to win against the damn Poles this episode. It is going to happen. But Mr. Tobelman is going to um, reinforce and strike east against Poland. Take Gdansk, open up a front with the Prussians, try and get trade with them, then strike south. The force that's, that is attacking um, Prague is going to reinforce and then strike south against the Ottomans. The force that's coming in from the west is going to head towards Munich, so even if we do lose it next turn, we do have a force nearby that can do a significant amount of damage. So we're going to deploy the guns. First of all, we're going to see if they will oblige us by coming at us. Put a solid core of infantry up front. Actually, that's quite... Well, the raised ground to the rear is quite useful, but I don't want to get too far away. Deploy Freikor infantry unit. Actually, don't deploy my militia at the same time, although, strictly speaking, it's probably better to deploy militia inside rather than on the flank. Let's put my guards on the right. Two units of militia on the left. New men deploy. Grenadiers wait to see where the enemy is strong. I spread out my cavalry. I'm anticipating some suicide charges towards my marines. Okay, so the enemy artillery contingent is non-existent, which is great. I would like, I would prefer if they'd advance towards me. If for nothing else, then we can take advantage of a superior firepower for a bit longer. You guys go for the third regiment. You men. First foot guards, make ready. Vow Dragoons deploy. All of you men open up on the regiment of horse. This is my Darren Soundbugs pouring a volley into the regiment of horse. So that unit's going to be routed for Darren, sure. You guys attack. Unit of Marines. Provincial cavalry ceased their charge. Very, very kindly accepting a volley of Polish musketry. Here comes their commander. My line infantry are ready to form into square, which they're going to do now. Now they immediately pull back. A Freikor unit on the flank, form square. So they've reformed. But the right flank is pushing up, which is exactly what we wanted to see. You men start to blast the 9th Regiment in the distance. They're heading our way. Oh, good hit. See if the 6th do any work. We might have some sound shenanigans. A fine hit. What about you, men? Fired short. Charge you men into the back of the 3rd Regiment. Got a unit of Marines pushing the flank, so getting my Dragoons out wide. There goes the enemy cavalry, so withdraw them. My left flank can advance. Val the Dragoon wide. My artillery can focus on attacking the enemy in the distance. We should focus on the four foot guards because they're danger close. So 
There are regulars on the flank, but I want to try and smash into the foot guards. Actually, no. Focus on the regulars. The Prussian horse can push up. Their marines have fallen. They fire their volley. They have downed a dragoon, but we can advance. The provincial cavalry are advancing. The Freyko are reading up, but they've not got a very good firing position. Make them commit. Then form square. Same with you guys. Provide some supporting fire. There you go, that's the Pandawa shattered. Charge down the foot guards. My hussars over on the right flank. My fly, my fry corps are holding their ground excellently. Okay, switch my demi cannons to uh, to canister shot. Get the third regiment to bombard the sixth foot guard marine unit. Blast them with canister shot. Oh, good hits. Oh god. Get my Dragoons away from those Marines. They can charge the Irregulars, but don't charge the Marines. So that's the Cavalry shattered. The infantry on my flank can advance. We're engaging the enemy here. It's quite an elite. That's the 1st Regiment of Foot. A veteran of many, many engagements. However, the 2nd Regiment of Bavarian Horse are also elite. Okay, get my cavalry to pull back. My Prishnek horse. I've hit the first regiment in the flank. You men cease fire. Attack and destroy the first regiment of foot. Then we can uh, curl my infantry around the flank. Ah, oh, the Irregulars are still alive. Sort them out. Get my hussars out on the flank. Come on. First regiment of foot. First regiment of foot are fighting back. Very well. You men advance. You men advance. Ready. Okay, so there go the irregulars. Get my cavalry back. So now you guys can cease fire. They're aware that their flank has fallen. We're going to push up into the town. Mostly. Eh, let's take one more unit. Starting to march into the town centre. Okay, my Freikor can charge the cavalry because we're... Our Prushenk horse are getting battered. Elsewhere, the actual line... Doing pretty good! So they held on. They, they're going to take the city. But only temporarily. So these Freikor line can advance onto the 2nd Regiment of Militia. The cavalry continue the, can continue the advance as we maintain our rolling up of the left flank. Don't really want to throw my cavalry into those elite infantry formations. Let's pivot you guys. So I can get my militia to advance. These guns can cease fire. That unit shattered. 
push my cavalry through the town. But ideally, I want my infantry to deal with their marines rather than lose more cavalry fighting them. The militia are going to fire some opening salvos against the 10th regiment. Get my infantry to run around to the rear of the 2nd regiment of militia. Actually, to be honest... Ah, don't worry. The 10th regiment are routed. They're not broken, but they've lost a significant number of men. Push my militia up close. So these three units can push up into the flank of the 7th Regiment of Militia to the rear. And that's what all of these units are going to do, really. First one there wins. Those militia aren't going to maintain their positions for very long. You guys might want to pivot just to spread out just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. There goes the enemy infantry. At which point... Oh, Marines have returned. Let's get my weak unit of Dragoons to chase down the 12th. The Marines themselves are going to continue to be engaged by Bavarian line. Oh, so many casualties. My hussars can take them out. The rest of my front line advance up against the marine, the militia here. These guys are quite resilient. Get shot in the back. Well, now they're wavering. Now they care. Okay, let's speed up time because everyone is fleeing except for this last unit of militia. And no one's running to get into position. It's just going to be, well, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Now they've now they're going to commit. Let's get my Prushenk horse into the 7th. This unit of Vile Dragoons are getting involved. Let's bring some more cavalry into the fight. They're concerned because their general has fallen. They're already wavering. When the 2nd Regiment hits, yeah, they too are shattered. That's what you get, Poland. That's what you get. Hurrah. So they managed to take Berlin, but only temporarily. We lost 400 men, that's it, to retake the city that's ours. Minus one. Did do a lot of damage. Rebuild the Royal Palace and we can rebuild the Opera House. You men can replenish for a turn inside the city. The, Jesuit, uh, the, the school is ours again, they did not destroy it. So you chaps get on with a new model bayonet drill. Gets plus two charge bonus for our infantry. It looks like they might sprint for Munich. Probably not going to recruit any more infantry there in the short term. Not that we can. But at the very least, we do have an army right here. Which, if they do take Munich, we can fight and take it back. And that will... I mean, ultimately, Poland was looking very dangerous. Now they're looking very weak. Because we, take, we own Berlin. We've got spies heading east to see what the deal is. I can send some cavalry forward next turn to attack Rostock. Let's hit end turn. Because yeah, now we've got, well, we have the, we have the momentum. I mean, yeah, they're gonna do some raiding. Too understandable. I mean, it's gonna, it's a bit annoying because they're gonna be doing damage to our, uh, economic base, but whatevs. Ooh! We actually get quite a decent garrison here. We're not necessarily going to... Well, we well, we've got a pretty good good opportunity to stop them. Um, but you know how the AI is. 
But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first stage of the defense of Munich. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>